The path to becoming a guitar hero is the noblest of paths. So let's find out if you have what it takes. First, you need to familiarize yourself with the instrument of your enlightenment. You should be holding the guitar so its face is away from you, and the neck is either to the left or to the right. So, tell me, will you be playing with the neck of the guitar to your left or to your right? Are you sure you want to play that way? Excellent. You can change the settings for how you're holding the guitar at any time in the options menu. Just toggle lefty switch on or off. Let's move on. This is your guitar. At the end of the guitar are the fret buttons. You use the fret buttons to choose the note you want to play. Over here is the strum bar. You press the strum bar up or down to play the note you have held down. Got it? All right, let's get you tuned up and ready. Play each note three times to get your guitar in tune. Good job. Sweet. Excellent. Your instrument is in tune with your soul. Now you can play for real. All right, this is the highway. To play a note, you need to hold down the fret button for that note and strum when the gem reaches the strike line. Here's a tip. You can hold down the fret button before and after the gem reaches the target because it's not actually played until you strum. Go ahead. Give it a shot. Good job. Watch those gems. Yeah. Watch those gems. Now that you can read the scripture, there are techniques to master. To play a note of a different color, let go of the fret button for the first note you've played, hold down the next button, and strum when the gem reaches the strike line. Try it out a bit. Yeah! Watch those gems! Good job! Watch those gems. You're making excellent progress. To play a long note, all you need to do is play the note and continue to hold down the fret button for the entire duration. Hold the fret button for the entire note. Sweet. Sweet.
Most excellent. Let's move on. You're ready to learn about chords. Chords are the result of playing two or more notes simultaneously. To play a chord, just hold the two fret buttons shown and strum to play as normal. Right on. Watch those gems. Right on. Watch those gems. You're on your way, my apprentice. With this basic knowledge, the path should be clear. See me again when you're ready to learn more about becoming a guitar hero. He told you we were done, didn't he? You've still got a few things to learn before you're ready. This is an open note. On the guitar, it's the note played when no frets are held. He wouldn't know about these because only the bassist plays open notes. To play an open note, don't hold any fret buttons and strum to play. Let's see what you can do. Just strum. Don't press any buttons. Just strum. That's it. Don't press any buttons. <laughs> yeah. He told you we were done, didn't he? You've still got a few things to learn before you're ready. This is an open note. On the guitar, it's the note played when no frets are held. He wouldn't know about these because only the bassist plays open notes. To play an open note, don't hold any fret buttons and strum to play. Let's see what you can do. That's it. Just strum. Don't press any buttons. Just strum. Good job. Don't press any buttons. We're almost finished. While you're playing, you might want some sort of indication of how well you're doing. Here it is. This is your rock meter. When the needle is in the yellow section, it means you're doing okay. When it's in the green, you're really rocking. When you're in the red, it means you're doing poorly. When the rock meter flashes red, it means you're in danger of failing the song. Missing notes will cause the rock meter to go down. The rock meter will also go down if you play notes that aren't there. And over here we have your score. Hit more notes and you'll score more points. Pretty simple, huh? Well, that completes the basic training. You should have the skills you need to become a guitar, or bass, hero. Ugh. Who am I kidding?